This is a game-changing electric car, it really, really is. There we go. Parking brake on, park, switch off, undo with the seatbelt, get out of car. So, it's all so straightforward. So welcome to the second <laughs> of my garden reviews. This is the Hyundai Kona, and this is fully charged. So we've had this car for over a year now and it's done over 20,000 miles, about 20,400 or something like that. It has been, a, this has been a real revelation, this vehicle. So my wife generally drives this car. Uh, if, if both of us have complete choice and there's no stress in the relationship and we can either use this car or the, the Tesla Model 3 to do a longer journey, we will both tend to choose the Tesla Model 3 my wife included, but she absolutely loves this car. Now this is really interesting because the Tesla Model 3 is the most sought after electric car in the world. The Hyundai Kona is a very close second to the most sought after car in the world. So they are both incredibly popular. It's very understandable why this is so popular. It's a lot cheaper than a Tesla Model 3. This car starts at 29,000 pounds. I've got a spec sheet I've got a spec sheet so I can do the, fun the numbers right. It has a 64 kilowatt hour usable battery. That is really important. That's a re it's not a 64 kilowatt hour battery, it's much bigger. Because an electric car battery is never full and never empty. And that's what protects it and that's what gives it its long life. It doesn't drain it till, the, till it's properly empty or fill it till it's properly full. So it's got a buffer, but there's 64 kilowatt hours of usable electrical power in the battery which is far more important to know than its overall gross size um, the, the, and all these figures are according to EV database which is you know if you really want to have a real world look at uh, what's going on in electric cars that's a good place to start or alternatively fully charged dot show which also contains vast swathes of beautifully manufactured information that isn't right is it you shouldn't manufacture information you should collect it <clears throat> now apparently it has according to ev database I'm, this is where i'm slightly i might dispute this with them uh, they are saying it's 260 watt hours per mile is the average energy consumption because that's the really critical thing about this car the energy efficiency of this vehicle is truly remarkable it was really the first one where we, we noticed Oh my God, this uses less electricity than other electric cars. It's really, really noticeable. Um, so the, their, uh, the real world range, 245 miles average. So that is probably not that far out because what we found with this is big variation in summer and winter, big variation in highway driving, urban driving. So one of the fascinating things is uh, they're saying 170 miles range highway at winter. I don't think we've ever got it that bad, but you, you know, that's when it's really cold. You're driving at highway speeds for a long time. It definitely reduces the range. I would say 190, but you know, we're disputing a tiny amount really. Uh, but it's the interesting one. And these, these tests have been done 300, 370 miles, uh, this time, kind of temperature from, from April till end of September that if you're driving in urban environments, slowly here and there, just short, slow journeys, 370 miles range. I wonder if this would be any good as a taxi. So yes, amazing, amazing fuel efficiency. The one anecdote that I can do was when we drove to the Netherlands a couple of years ago and I was driving a Jaguar I-Pace, fantastic, brilliant car. A cameraman Mark was driving a uh, Nissan Leaf, the first 40 kilowatt hour one, which had amazing range, but that was the one we had to charge the most. And Johnny Smith was driving the Hyundai Kona. He was getting 5.2 miles to the kilowatt hour. 
so confusing these numbers let's just stick with how far it goes on a kilo in on a kilowatt hour that's the closest we've got to a, a gallon i plead with all manufacturers to measure your battery size in kilowatt hours bmw and to measure your consumption in miles or kilometers per kilowatt hour that makes it much easier to understand don't obfuscate like you have done with miles per gallon and we buy it in liters who knows how efficient their cars are no one vehicle fuel equivalents so if this car had a petrol engine but did the same energy efficiency as it does it would do 176 miles to the gallon which is pretty good for a car this size in terms of cost it's doing about 400 miles per gallon but let's not even talk about that 0 to 62 is 7.6 seconds which is faster than the mini e in fact it's faster than quite a lot of cars one of the quirks of this car and this is particularly for a gentleman my age who is not trying to show off and do sporty burnouts that's not something i do but i've pulled out of two supermarket car parks when there's pedestrians around this is back in the olden days when there were pedestrians around and it was quite quiet in a you know little in a market town supermarket i'm not showing off and i'm pulling out into traffic and i just give it a bit too much throttle <laughs> i span the front wheels it's front wheel drive enormous screech of screaming rubber and then i had to drive really slowly up this like 20 mile an hour zone i'm not trying to go fast i'm just pulling out it's got so much grunt uh you've got to be really careful with it now that is you know it's not a good sign really because you it should be more controlled than that but if you want to spin the tires and get some smoke coming off them you can do it charging really interesting again so it has ccs and type 2 i charge it at seven kilowatts here at home i can charge it uh, on a rapid charger 50 kilowatts uh, ccs charger that's really good i've used one charger on this car uh, at uh, an ionity charger that could charge up to 350 kilowatts and it pumped 70 kilowatts into this car so more than 50 and it was noticeably quicker it really did bump it up well apparently i didn't realize this but its maximum input is 77 kilowatts well we noticed 70 i think it does have roof bars a lot of people ask about this it's got roof bars you can put a roof rack on this car and it can carry a maximum capacity of 80 kilograms which sounds like a lot to me i don't know it has two isofix seats for children's seats five seats altogether. it has a 332 uh, liters of space in the boot and if you put all the seats down it has 1114 liters which is good it's very roomy okay so here's our experience of this car is when you're driving on a longer journey the question is what podcast audiobook or radio channel do i listen to not have i got the range you don't even think about that how i have stopped so many times in this car to get a coffee and have a gentleman's break without thinking about plugging it in it doesn't even occur to me it just isn't necessary uh, in the summer last year i drove to uh i can't even remember where it was nottingham it's about 130 miles uh and I, I was all motorways except for the first 11 miles until i got on a motorway then it's motorway highway all the way drove there did a talk in the evening when you could do things like that and there was an audience people in the same room it's hard to explain this to young people they don't know what that was like many of us gathered together in one space uh did the talk got back in the car drove home listened to an audiobook fascinating audiobook probably about the history of the oil industry that's the sort of weird rubbish i listen to and got back home and went oh my god i didn't even think did not even think about stopping to charge the car didn't even cross my mind and when i got back it was i don't know what maybe 25 percent something like that i mean it wasn't nearly empty it wasn't flashing and going alarming it's amazing on tests that they've done with the this car and many others the hyundai kona and the tesla model 3 were the closest to their advertised range you know when you see all these things when you see a advert for petrol cars that do you know 63 miles to the gallon no they don't barely ever do that if you're going downhill with a following wind you know it's so annoying and the same with electric cars they go you know wltp range 312 miles no 100, 220 225 these were the closest when driven till they run out these got much much nearer this and the model 3 uh we've done 20,000 miles in it really easily we haven't worn the tires out it's had it had a service very it had no maintenance nothing's happened it's had a service where they just checked everything it's all fine nothing no not even tires the tires are all the ones it came with nothing has changed in it at all it's incredibly easy to drive it's incredibly reliable 
and it's incredibly cheap to run. Foot on brake, press power button. A little fella comes up there. So the great heads up display took me about uh, two months to work out how to tilt it so I, we could both see it, so we could adjust it. So the sat nav is actually quite good. That's not, it, it's not uh, ter terribly stunning. You've got your previous uh, points of interest, your previous ones. And then there's the EV options. It's not incredibly quick. So at the moment, the battery is at 65%. So this is a very useful thing. It, it's just psychologically reassuring. This shows you how far you can drive on the current charge, which is 65%. So it's not full by a long, long shot. But, you know, as you can see, I can clearly get to London. I could get to London and back. I could get to the, you know, the, the Channel Ferry ports, go to Wales, go right, almost down to the Land's End in Cornwall and up north of Leeds. So, you know, it is, the range is just like you don't even think about it. You do not think about it. So this is the charge management. So you can schedule your charging. So I've set all this up and you can uh, set your target temperature so you, it preheats the car, that is. So if you put scheduled ch uh, charging on, it will only charge it from, this is at midnight 30 to seven in the morning. And you can obviously you can adjust that. So there you can see, starts at 30 minutes past midnight, ends at seven in the morning. That's the cheap off-peak tariffs. So there's still quite a lot of other buttons. I like the fact that the climate is done with buttons. That's easy. You know, because you turn it on and off, you can tell that's hotter, that's colder. That's a, that's a big fan, that's no fan. So all those things are much easier. So obviously the other thing that is, I, the way I judge a car is its grunt factor. When I get out of this car, do I have to grunt and go <laughs> to get out? No, this is, I've driven really long journeys in this car, got out of it without any trouble at all. No sound, no sound was emanated. Uh, so it has been, it has been a, 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 an amazing car. All the kind of normal stuff is here. I mean, the really good one is Apple Autoplay. That, I've used that a lot. That becomes sort of a semi-screen like your phone, so you know where things are. And then you, now I've done lots of phone calls where I have not let go of here. I've done that, that stupid name, the S name, and say, call, you know, call Louis, and it just goes beep, boop, and boop, and it's really clear, and you can do all that stuff. That is all brilliant. I've sent texts like this send a text to charlie hi charlie comma new paragraph i'm running a bit late sorry comma see you in a minute full stop and it just does it would you like to send the text yes send a f text yes <laughs> that is brilliant the heads up display is the thing i wanted to show you i've spent about 15 minutes trying to film it you can't see it with uh, a camera eye you have to have a human eye but there is a that is useful the thing i think is the most obvious thing that I use it for. I'm just driving on because it's in your field of vision all the time, just there. When you're doing, well, there's speed limits. It's really good with speed limits. So if you're on a 60 mile an hour thing and you're coming into an urban area and it says 40, but you didn't notice the sign, boom, that goes up, that goes bigger, goes bigger and says 40, Ooh, slow down, get a bit of regen. Regen, I haven't even spoken to that, spoken to you about that. Regen paddles. Oh, now here's the difference between myself and the good lady wife. Now she likes it on setting one. She doesn't like fierce regen. And she's noticed, she's done experiments. My wife, who's as, bad, as interested in electric cars as I am in football. Football, I'm not interested in football. She's not interested in electric cars. She has experimented and she thinks she can get better uh, range and better fuel efficiency with it setting or with it on a zero setting so it just free wheels and it is true I've started using that a lot if you dung 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 it till it's naught you're going along a slight slope it's amazingly aerodynamic it doesn't look aerodynamic it looks like a big sort of rubbery brick this car but it is really smooth it just keeps going so you're not using any uh, energy at all and that but when you want I got used to it now and when you if you put it on three it's, it's a lot of regen you can use it instead of your brakes. That's the really good thing. So the Regen is brilliant. I love Regen paddles. The uh, Hyundai um, Ionic, or that was the first car I drove with those, and they are brilliant. I do use those a lot. That is, uh, I don't know what else to say about it, except it's brilliant. It's just a brilliant car. And if you've got one, if, you've got one, if you're on a waiting list for one, you're going to be very, very happy when you get it. So as you can see, I really love this car. This is a brilliant piece of work by Hyundai. I think they've done an amazing job. I love driving it. I want to keep it for a long time. It's so incredibly solidly built and reliable. 
it has proven itself beyond all doubters that electric cars are cheaper to run, are better, are, you know, are more sustainable, are more recyclable, and they're just better. And this is a really, really good example of what electric cars really should be. So that's all. Please do the normal stuff, the subscription, the Patreon thing, if you want, you know, all that stuff. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching. Switch on. Seatbelt on. Press D. Brakes go off. Bye.